Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make a video series on Azure. Azure is provided by Microsoft Corporation and it is a cloud computing platform. It has various features and functionalities as well. Guys, in this specific video series, we'll try to explore each and every Azure services whatever available in the Azure portal and we'll try to manage our application using Python. So that is our video series on how to use Azure using Python. Azure has so many services as well like analytics, networking, virtual machine, cloud computing and so on. We'll try to explore each and every of the Azure services. Azure supports a wide range of tools and frameworks. You can use any of the open source languages with Azure. I got a $200 credits when I subscribed Azure for the first time. Azure is flexible and reliable as well. It has the cost effectiveness as well. So it is absolutely free of cost. If you are subscribing for the first time, as I told, you will get a $200 credits absolutely free of cost. And it has the pay as you go plan as well. Guys, in this specific video series, we'll try to explore each and every Azure services, whatever available in the Azure portal. And we'll try to manage our application using Python. So that is our video series on how to use Azure using Python. So let's get your hands dirty and let's start with coding. Hey guys, welcome back to coding. In this video, I'm going to create a Azure blob storage and a Azure container and I can connect that Azure container using Python. For that, uh, I'm sharing my screen. I think my screen is visible. You simply have to go to Google Chrome. So I'm opening my Google browser and I'm going to portal.azure.com. So if you guys didn't subscribe for the Azure uh, free credits, you can go to portal.azure.com and you can give your card details and uh, your account credentials and you can create a free account and there you'll get uh, $200 credits absolutely free of cost from Microsoft. So you can see like I have 16,700 credits remaining. So you can use it for your learning purpose as well and you can use it for your uh, small scale application as well. So so this specific video is on storage accounts as I said. So storage accounts nothing but a specific storage accounts in cloud provided by Microsoft Azure where you can store your files. Okay, absolutely uh, free of cost. If you have a subscription plan of $200 free credits and you can create a container inside that storage accounts where you can upload the files. So you can upload several kinds of files like MP4 files or if you have any text file or Excel file or uh, CSV file. Okay. So how to create that storage account. So for that, you have to click on the more services. So for me, uh, I have already clicked on the storage account. So it is visible on the landing page. So if you're not able to find the storage account, so you have to click on the more services and you can explore what are the services provided by Microsoft Azure. And you have to simply uh, search for storage accounts. Okay, so if you start typing storage accounts, it will give you a pop-up like storage, uh, storage accounts. You have to click on that. And you can see like uh, I didn't create any storage account yet. Okay, I'm going to create that. I mean, I have created a storage account before, but I have deleted that. So I'm going to create a storage account for you guys. So I have to cl click on the create button and I have to fill this form. So you can see subscription is free trial resource group. Okay, I have created a resource group previously and I kept the name as Anirvan for YouTube. So that is my resource group name. So if you want to create a new resource group, then absolutely fine. You can go ahead and create a new resource, but I'm not creating any resource. I'm using this storage account name. Okay. So I'm giving the name as sample YouTube upload. Okay. So this is my sample storage account name. Okay. So primary service. So primary service, I can just click on the drop down menu and I can select Azure files because I'm going to upload a text file. So absolutely, so this option is correct. Azure files. Performance is standard is fine, absolutely fine. And redundancy, you know, no need to do anything because that is uh, given by, by default. Okay, then you need to click on the review plus create button. Okay, if you click on the review plus create button, it will go for a validation. And if your validation is passed, then it will create the storage account. It, it will give you the option for uh, to create the storage account. You can see, like for my account, my validations are passed and my create button is enabled. So I'll simply click on the create button and you can see like initializing deployments. And it will take few seconds of time to deploy the storage accounts and let's wait for a few seconds. So I think it is a uh, deployment in progress. And meanwhile, we'll uh, do one thing. We can open a Visual Studio Code. So let me open my v Visual Studio Code. So I have opened that and I'll create a sample folder. Okay, sample folder in my desktop, which I name as Azure Tutorial. Azure Tutorial. Uh, tutorial. Okay. And I will open this. Uh, uh, I will open this folder 
using VS Code. So there's an option. You can just type code dot and it will open through Visual Studio Code. ESI Trust. Okay. So or else I can do one thing. Rather than doing this process, just open the Visual Studio Code and manually open the folder. So anything will be fine. Okay, so I have to click on file and open folder and just go to desktop and Azure tutorial this one. Okay, so I'm closing this welcome note and I have to create a file because I'm going to connect the Azure storage account, the container specifically through Python. Okay, so I'm going to create a file and naming is naming as container.py. And now I'm going to describe you what will be the container. What is the container? Okay, let's go back to uh, Azure. So you can see like uh, deployment successful. Okay, your deployment is complete. And I mean, uh, the storage account is already created. And if I click on go to resource. So I am inside my storage account. Guys, I didn't create a container yet. Okay, so storage account is an account where you can create the containers. Okay, so two processor to separate process you have to be a container inside your storage account then only you will be able to upload the files into the container okay so I'm going to uh, create a container for that I have to go to the left side and you can see there are several options available you have to click on the data storage and you have to click on the containers this option so if you click on the uh, container option and here you can see there is a by default a folder is available which is logs I'm going to create a container for that. I have to click, click on container. <coughs> Sorry. And I have to give a name. So I'm giving YouTube upload. Okay. So I'm creating a new container for that. I'm giving the name as YouTube upload. Advanced option. I don't need to fill anything, I think. And I can click on the create button. So successfully, I have created a container. You can see like container has came which is YouTube upload. Okay, so if I click on the container, you can see there is no file because we are going to upload the file to this container. Okay, so for that, we have to write a piece of code. So for that, I can search internet. Okay, how to upload files, how to, how to upload files to Azure blob using Python. Okay, so this thing I'm searching I know the process means how you can upload a file. You can go through the Microsoft documentation as well. And if I click on the Microsoft documentation, you can see whatever the dependency you have to install. So they have provided that. But there is a problem, guys. Okay. So how they are connecting that is using default Azure credential. Okay. So if you go to client object, how to create a client object there, you can see like credential they have provided default Azure credential. So it is not a good option to connect your Azure account through default Azure credential. Rather, you can use your access key or access token uh, that will be more secure. OK, so there is some other ways how you can connect your Azure container Azure storage container to Python using your credentials. OK, so to find that you can simply go to this link. I can provide this link uh, to the video description. Okay, so basically this is a website and they have provided how you can connect your Azure account Azure more specific to say Azure uh, storage account containers to using Python. Okay, so this is the dependency you have to install first. So let me activate my virtual environment. So I'm using Miniconda as I said in my Hugging Face tutorial videos. You can go through those videos. So I'm using Miniconda to manage my Python packages on all Python versions also. So it is very easy. I do not have any Python install in my local system. Rather, I'm using Anaconda prompt. Okay, so the the command to activate the virtual environment is conda activate vnv. Sorry, I think I removed that. Conda activate vnv and then st app. So I have already created an environment, a virtual environment, and you can create your own environment like using this command conda activate and your environment name. And I'm using Python version 3.12. Okay. So fine. I have to navigate to my folder, which is in desktop and the folder name is Azure tutorial. Okay. CD and I have to give Azure tutorials. Okay. And if I give DIR, 
I can see the container.py file is already available. Okay, so this is the way to activate the environment. Now I have to write this code. First, pip install Azure storage blob. So I copy this and I to try to execute this command. Okay, I think I have already installed the dependency. So for me, yeah, it is giving requirement already satisfied. So I no need to install this again. So what I can do that, I'll simply grab this code. Okay, Python code to upload a file to Azure blob. So this is the entire code I have to copy and I have to paste it to my uh, Python file. And now I need to modify this code. Okay, how to do that? I have to change a few things so that I will describe but you can use this code. I'll give you the link in the de description box so that it will be easy for you. So first you need to import blob service client from Azure storage and blob. And then you have to provide these four things, which is storage account key, storage account name, connection string and container name. Okay. Then they have provided a function where they're providing the file path and file name. Well, guys, I didn't create any file, which I am going to upload in the container. So I'm going to create a file and I will give the name as YouTube sample.txt. Okay, this is my sample file. I'm going to upload it to Azure container and I will give a sample text like this is a sample text and upload file to Azure container. Okay, so this is the sample text I have just provided inside this file. Okay, so what are the things I need to change? First, focus on these four things. Okay, Azure storage account key. So storage account key storage account name connection string and container name these four are different okay these informations are related to your storage account this is related to your container okay as i told you first need to create a storage account then only you will be able to create a container inside it so let me grab those details from azure so i have to go to azure portal i'm going to azure portal okay so first thing i have to get I have to get storage account key. Okay, so how to get that? For that, I have to go to portal. I have to go to my storage account. I'm going to my storage account. So sample YouTube upload. So this is my storage account. First, I need, need to get the key. Okay. To get the key, I have to click on this left side. You can see there are so uh, many options available. You have to click on security plus networking. Okay, first let me get the name. Okay, so this is the uh, storage account name which is sample YouTube upload. So this name I can provide over here. See storage account name. So there I can provide this. Okay, and then storage account key. Storage account key. So there are uh, options available. You can see like access keys, right? So you have to click on the access keys and storage account key. So for that you have to click on show. So there are key one and key two. I will personally recommend that you could go through that key one because that will be helpful. Uh, you can go for key two as well. There is no problem, I think. And you have to just click on the show button. And this is the key. You have to copy this and you have to store the account key. You have to paste this over here. So I think didn't copy that. I copied this key and I have to paste it over here. This is the key. Next is connection string. So below the key, you can see like connection string is also available for key one. I have to copy this connection string. I'm copying this by clicking this and I have to paste it over here. Okay, so this is a big uh, string. Okay, this is the connection string. And next is the container name, like to which container I'm going to upload my file. So for that, I have to find the container. So for that data storage, and click on containers this option and YouTube upload this is the container name okay I'm going to click and copy this container name I'm providing here okay so this is the information you have to provide first storage account key storage account name connection stream and container name okay and next is focus on this function YouTube up, uh, uh, upload to blob storage okay this is the function so this is the blob service client Blob service client, how they have created this. So they have assigned a variable and they're simply importing this blob service client from there, from connection string and they are passing the connection string over here and blob client, they are creating the blob client from blob service client. Okay, so they are just importing this blob service, service client from the line number nine and inside that get blob client and they're assigning container, container name, which we already provided and blob is equal to file name. So file name we have to provide, okay because we have to call the function and we have to pass the file name. 
so file name is fine file name is uh, the file name you have to provide uh, the name in the uh, container okay not this file name okay you are going to upload x file to azure container what will be the x file name in the azure container that name you have to provide so we are going to change this name as maybe my name and need one file one one so this will be the file name in azure container and i have to fix something like with open i can see like this rb is not recognized because there are some problem with the quotes so i have changed this okay and the path the path also i have to provide that i will provide later let me see this so there is a print statement is given so i'm going to modify this as well i have to give these quotes and i'll give a message like your sorry guys your file is successfully uploaded to azure con container azure container and then file name okay or else i can give like this your file and then i can provide your file this name i will provide is successfully uploaded to azure container okay so this is the print statement we are providing and the last thing is file path so you can simply right click on this file and copy the path okay so i have to provide the path over here okay and i have to change the uh, backslash to forward slash otherwise you don't uh, you don't uh, go to this path okay so i have to change all the slashes that's it guys and let me check once yeah i think that's it nothing else and just saving this i'm trying to execute this okay let me open this uh, virtual environment so the command is to run the python file is python and then the file name which is container.py okay executing this okay so i got the print statement your file unread one file one one is successfully uploaded to azure container okay i got the print statement okay let me verify it whether it has successfully uploaded to azure container or not so i'm going to azure and let me start it uh, from beginning okay storage accounts i have to go and then i have to go to this storage account i have to go to containers okay so i have this youtube upload this container so you can see the file is uploaded to my container which is of 57 byte and this is the file name in container okay and even file one one whatever we have provided in our code that is uploaded to container so this is the way guys how to upload a file using python to azure container and you can upload to excel file csv file and mp4 file or any different uh, formatted file as well if you have so this is the whole process and i think this video will be helpful for you and i'm going to make some other videos on azure as well uh, i will create a playlist for you and i will provide this particular link to the video description so that it will be helpful for you it will get the code and if you have any thoughts please give me in the comment box and if you have any suggestion or anything please provide it me in the comment box that will be helpful for me and if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel because that will be great motivation for me and stay tuned till then stay tuned and goodbye